Hi, this is Jan Hall with www.mathnook.com. Welcome to our tutorial on rounding to the nearest hundred. Rounding to the nearest hundred is very similar to rounding to the nearest ten. You will follow the same rounding rules, but this time the rules will be applied to the hundreds place. If rounding the number 842 to the nearest hundred, underline the rounding place which is 8 because 8 is in the hundreds place. Write the two hundreds that 842 would come between if you were counting. If you get confused about which two hundreds a number comes between, look at the number you underline. That's your first hundred. A hundred more than that is your second hundred. Circle the number to the right of the rounding place. This number tells you if you are rounding down to the lower hundred or up to the higher hundred. If the number to the right of the rounding place, which is the circled number, if that number is less than 5, you round down. If that number is 5 or greater, you round up. In this case, the number to the right of the rounding place, our circled number, is less than 5, so you round down to 800. Now we will round a larger number to the nearest hundred. We have 25,691. Underline the number in the rounding place, which is 6, because 6 is in the hundreds place. Write the two hundreds that 691 would come between if you were counting. Yes, I know we have a larger number, but right now I'm just focusing on the hundreds place because that is what we are rounding to. So, now we can say that 25,691 is between 25,600 and 25,700. Circle the number to the right of the rounding place, which is 9. This number tells you if you are rounding to the lower hundred or up to the higher hundred. If the number to the right of the rounding place, that's our circled number, is less than 5, then you round down. If that number is 5 or greater, you round up. In this case, the number to the right of the rounding place, that circled number, is 5 or greater, so you round up to 25,000. 700. For more practice rounding, play our free online math games such as Which One Rounds. Download our free math worksheets such as this one, Rounding to the Nearest Hundred, or play our free center games such as Round the World. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit us again at www.mathnook.com.